I just taking a quick look at this new grow watt Helios 3600. So this is 3600 watts of output power plus all the other features that you want in a large system, right? You want to be able to expand it. You want to be able to power 240 volts as well, don't you? In addition to the standard 120. So this one can do both. Now, there is this weird limitation here. Evidently, you can only do 2200 watts on the 240 volts. Whereas the standard 120 can do 3600 watts. So this is really weird. And it, you know, the whole point of the whole point of higher voltage is you know, either you, you use less amps or you can do more watts. Not less, <laughs> not less watts. So I don't know. Yeah, this is just really weird, isn't it? But, you know, I guess, I don't know, maybe they did their market research and they found that people, you know, generally, what do people want to be able to run with these power stations, with these backup batteries? They want to be able to run their well pump, right? So if you've got, you know, a well pump that's on the smaller side, like a half horsepower or even a three quarters horsepower, you should be able to run that no problem with this, you know, 2200 watt max. But if you have a larger well pump, you know, you could, it could be an issue. So if you do want to do, you know, bigger loads, yeah, they are going to have this double power hub. It's not available yet, evidently. But yeah, you'll be able to, as you see right there, you'll be able to hook two of the main units up in parallel and, you know, double the power, basically. Now, of course, the 3600 is, you know, the 120. So, you know, I'm just guessing here, but it's probably the 240 volt would probably still only be for, you know, 4,400 watts, which is still, I mean, that's a lot of power, obviously, but still. And they are still advertising this watt plus feature. This is the voltage dropping feature. I wouldn't recommend using it on a big, you know, on a product that has a big inverter. You, you shouldn't really need to use it anyways, especially if you're going to have, you know, these big expensive appliances plugged into this thing. A lot of those are real sensitive to voltage, right? I mean, you can't have the voltage drop too low or you could damage them, in fact. So, you know, it's just, yeah, I wouldn't recommend... I wouldn't recommend using this feature unless you have a specific case, you know, like maybe you're, you're cooking with a whole bunch of different cooking appliances that are all resistive loads, or I don't know, maybe you got a lot of women in your household and they all want to use a hairdryer at the same time. You know, if you come across a circumstance like that, then turn this feature on. Otherwise I would say, turn it off, leave it off. Now for the battery, you know, of course, you know, of course it's LFP. 4,000 plus cycles, so yeah, that's good. And they are advertising this cold startup feature again. So I talked about this in the Infinity 2000 model, which was, you know, previously was their largest model. So of course now this one's a lot bigger, a lot more capable, but they're still not explaining this feature. You know, they say it can support a cold startup. It can power loads down to negative 22. And they show this like, ribbon right they show this like heat tape that goes around the battery cells to heat them up but they don't actually make that claim that it has something like that they just <laughs> they just show it so you know while that's a question mark this this is not a question mark <laughs> this is the real deal you can expand this thing and you can expand this thing big time so you know obviously the standalone unit is 3.6 kilowatt hours you can you can do a full 10x on that. You know, you can go up to 36 kilowatt hours. Now, if you do want to do that, you actually have to have two of the main units here. So as you see, there's, there's two of them here. And then there's a total of four extra batteries for every main unit. So that's the max. Four extra batteries for each main unit. And then, you know, when that parallel you know, double power hub is what they're calling it. When that becomes available, you know, you could hook up two of them together, two of the main units together, and then have a total of eight extra batteries. And that'll give you, yeah, that'll give you the 36. So this is going to be very expensive. <laughs> By the way, it's going to be very expensive. But, you know, if you do want to power a lot of big loads, you know, 
you are going to need a lot of capacity like this. You know, <laughs> I hate to tell you that a lot of a lot of people, they want to buy like they want to just buy, like, let's say two of the main units and get that parallel hub and they want to run, you know, 5,000 watt, 6,000 watt, 7,000 watt loads. And then like literally in an hour, <laughs> their battery is completely dead, right? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. So, you know what I'm saying? If you want to back up your house and you want to run a bunch of circuits, you know, with big output power, you're going to need to get all these expansion batteries as well, really. And so, of course, you know, they show all these images with these nice, with this nice clean setup, you know, these things just stacked on top of each other. What they don't show is the cables, though, right? So, yeah, the, you know, if you really had a setup like this actually hooked up and functioning, <laughs> there'd be like cables everywhere. Everywhere there'd be cables. In fact, you probably wouldn't even, yeah, you wouldn't even be able to have it up, you know, consolidated like this. So, yes, it has the old, you know, bulky cables. There's no, you know, direct connection. There's no 90 degree cables. So that is something you want to note as well. But these expansion batteries are actually a worthwhile investment because it's not just the battery like some companies. No, no, no. You can actually power, you know, USB stuff. You get a 100 watt USB-C, you know, all the, all the good USB ports and a lot of the 12 volt ports as well. Now, not all of them. We'll talk about that. Not all of them. But still, you're going to be able to do a lot of DC power with this battery. And you can input DC power as well. So, yes, there is the XT60, you know, the solar input. It's on the extra batteries here as well. So, of course, you know, the more of these you get, the more solar you can charge with as well. And it gets better. It gets better because guess what? Since there's less stuff inside, there's no inverter on these extra batteries. You get this huge, I mean, this is huge. Look how deep this is. You get this huge storage box on top. I mean, look at that. That cable is like way down in there. And this is really, this is the best part. Is since it's a clone of the main unit, you get this suitcase design, even on the extra batteries. So you get these huge wheels, you know, nice telescoping. Looks like it's metal, all metal. Yeah, telescoping handle. So this is awesome because even with a huge setup like this, 36 kilowatt hours, you could pack this, you could pack up this whole setup here easily and move it and for the charging you know of course it's fast charge capable you can max out your wall outlet or you can do up to 3600 watts actually <laughs> if you have a 240 volt source like an ev charger now you'll need some kind of adapter there's no way to you know there's no way to just hook it up plug it into your grow watt here so they don't talk about that i guess that's in theory i don't know and then for the solar this is where things aren't that great. This is a huge disappointment, in fact, because the rest of this product is so good. So 2,000 watts, you might be saying, well, that sounds, that sounds fantastic. What's the problem? <laughs> you know what? You want to know what the problem is? Here, let me draw it out for you. Right here. This is the problem. <laughs> you can't exceed 60 volts with 2,000 watts of input. <laughs> how, how the hell are you going to do that? Maybe there is, you know, maybe there's a, an error here. I don't know. But <laughs> I would say, I would say to grow watt, you better fix, if that's, if it's not 60 volts, you better fix this because I think this would be the one thing that would prevent people from wanting to buy this product, right? I mean, it should be at least 100 volts. Really, it should be 150 volts, right? Especially since they have a low voltage input as well. So this one, they're using Anderson. Yeah, 400 watts, 12 to 36 volts. And then the last thing you probably notice about this image is, yes, you can stack these, you know, even though, they, even though these have the wheels. Yeah, you can stack them on top of each other because there's four pegs. Well, well, four, four feet, four rubber feet. There's two in the front, of course. But, you know, if you want to do the stack setup, you can actually attach two more in the back you see that so that the wheels don't touch you know they, they give you these you'll have to install them and you can see here on top of the product well this image doesn't show it that well this one here there's actually you know these little indentations for where those feet go so yeah you know 
they kind of thought, <laughs> it seems like they kind of thought of everything with this product.